For many decades, Earth and its galactic neighbors were the only known planets in the universe. This was finally to change in 1995. At that time, a team led by Swiss astronomer Michel Mayer succeeded in adding the exoplanet 51 Pegasi b, which is 40 light years away from us, to the star charts with definite certainty. This galactic milestone, in turn, was to be the prelude to a large-scale cosmic search that has already identified more than 4,800 exoplanets in over 35 500 systems. How the search for these alien worlds proceeds in detail, and how a sophisticated artificial intelligence recently succeeded in discovering more than 300 new exoplanets, we'll show you now. Want to learn more about the groundbreaking discoveries and unique spectacles in space on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe. Feel free to give us a thumbs up and show us that you like our joint excursions into the gigantic gigantic expanses of the cosmos. The Discovery of Strange Worlds before we dedicate ourselves to the highly exciting question of how the search for unknown exoplanets is being carried out in detail, we should recall briefly how the term exoplanet is actually defined. The prefix exo goes back to the actually more precise designation extrasolar. This concerns planets that draw their courses outside of the influence of our sun and are instead gravity bound to another star or brown dwarf. In simple words, exoplanets are planets that do not belong to the solar system but to other superior systems. Beyond that, there are, in the gigantic widths of the cosmos, further planet-similar celestial bodies, which do not, however, orbit any other astronomical object. These formations are summarized in the technical world under the generic term planimo. Whether the corresponding celestial bodies should actually be classified with the squadron of the exoplanets has been the subject of heated debates for some time now. As already mentioned at the beginning, thousands of exoplanets have been added to the star maps. Specifically, the number is 4,839 of these strange cosmic worlds as of August 18th, 2021. But how is it actually possible for earthly experts to identify celestial bodies in the firmament that are dozens of light years away from our blue home planet? The so-called transit method has turned out to be the best method. In detail, as with most other detection methods, it is not the actual exoplanet that is observed, but rather the changes it causes to its host star. If the orbit of a planet is such that it appears from Earth as if it were passing exactly in front of its parent star, these transits result in detectable changes in the brightness of the radiated starlight. In order to exclude coincidental events during the investigations, Terrestrial experts have to document at least three planetary transits with the same time interval. The probability of detecting the transit of an exoplanet by a randomly selected star is estimated to be less than 1%. Despite this, the transit method has become an extremely effective tool in galactic tracking. More than 80% of all exoplanets discovered so far could be identified with this indirect detection method. The majority of these sensational galactic discoveries can be attributed to the Kepler Space Telescope. Other Detection Methods Another technique for discovering previously unknown planets is the radial velocity method. In fact, it was this method that enabled Michel Mayer and his colleagues to detect the first ever exoplanet incontestably in the 1990s. Here, however, it is not the brightness of the star, but its periodic motions that the scientists are looking at. Stars and their surrounding planets typically move around a common center of gravity under the influence of gravity. But since the glistening bright celestial body has a much larger mass than its galactic companion, its path of motion also describes much smaller paths. The periodic motion patterns of the star show in the context of the interaction with the accompanying planet detectable components, observable through the Doppler effect. In simple terms, this means the temporary stretching or compression of a signal at different distances between receiver and transmitter. Since the present orbital inclination is usually unknown, the mass of the exoplanet cannot be detected by the radial velocity method if the stellar mass is known. The astrometric method also focuses on the conspicuous 
ubiquitous components within the motion patterns of stars, but in this case, they are transverse to the sighting of the terrestrial observer. While in the past, this method has been dismissed as too imprecise, many experts believe that ESA's Gaia Space Telescope has the potential to identify thousands of new worlds using the astrometric method. This so-called gravitational microlensing method uses the effect of the background stars. Here, the light emitted by the star is amplified in time by an exoplanet in front of it, which acts as a gravitational lens. Others search for new planets by looking for orbital perturbations of already known exoplanets. A few years ago, for example, a Spanish-French team of researchers discovered that there is probably another planet in the vicinity of GJ 436b. With the detection methods presented, we recognize an exoplanet identified by direct observation is an absolute absolute rarity. But even here, some exceptions confirm the cosmic rule. In 2004, the European Southern Observatory announced that they may have succeeded in recording the first direct image of a planet some 225 light years away. Follow-up research subsequently undertaken by the Hubble Space Telescope actually confirmed this sensational news. Another astronomical sensation followed four years later. At that time, it was not only a single celestial body, but a whole exoplanet system located by direct observation around the star HR 8799, which is 130 light years away. The three discovered celestial bodies had intrinsic masses between 7 and 10 Jupiter masses, and with an estimated age of 60 million years, are still in their cosmic infancy. A Revolutionary Artificial Intelligence as we mentioned earlier, we owe the discovery of most exoplanets to NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. Although the telescope, which began its galactic service in March 2009, has been out of operation for three years now, the analysis of the collected data is still in full swing. In the past, it was human experts who sifted through the information collected by Kepler, looking for clues that suggested the existence of unknown exoplanets. However, a groundbreaking new artificial intelligence called ExoMiner is now also capable of handling this challenging endeavor and completing the cosmic search for clues faster and more efficiently than ever before. We remember that the Kepler Space Telescope, which was designed specifically for the search of extrasolar planets, also relied on the transit method during its mission. However, since the temporary changes in the brightness of the stars studied cannot always necessarily be attributed to the influence of transiting planets, scientists had to painstakingly examine the individual cases afterwards to rule out cosmic confusion. ExoMiner is now an artificial neural network, or in other words, a kind of AI algorithm that is capable of learning autonomously and improving its own capabilities with a constantly growing supply of data. And this is a veritable wealth of information to evaluate. In less than 10 years, Kepler has identified thousands of potential exoplanet candidates, of which about 3,000 have been confirmed so far. To verify that a potential candidate is indeed an alien galactic world, experts must look at a wide variety of aspects, such as the precise changes in the light curve and the orbital period of the hypothetical planet. The ExoMiner algorithm checks the relevant boxes, although it is capable of doing the research faster than any human scientist. A look at the achievements that this sophisticated AI has already made gives us a foretaste of the revolutionary discoveries that are likely to be made in the future through the use of such technologies. ExoMiner has so far succeeded in confirming over 300 exoplanet candidates identified by Kepler. It's the unprecedented accuracy of ExoMiner that has amazed the renowned experts. NASA employees are therefore certain if the artificial intelligence indicates that an astronomical object is an exoplanet, then this is indeed an exoplanet. Now that the technology has already demonstrated its capabilities in an impressive way, the experts' plans call for ExoMiner to be used to analyze both existing and future mission data. As sensational as the findings of artificial intelligence are, they are nevertheless accompanied by a small taste of bitterness. None of the confirmed exoplanets is considered potentially happy habitable, as they are all outside the habitable zones of their ancestral systems. In any case, we are looking with bated breath for those planets that are still unknown at present and that may soon be added to the star charts. As soon as the experts report further exciting milestones, you can be sure we'll tell you about it immediately. We're interested in your opinion. What do you think about the exciting detection methods of the experts and the revolutionary artificial intelligence? Just drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's post in the comments. 
Are you in the mood for more exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.